Welcome to another Fast Tech video. Before we start, please go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and click the bell next to the subscribe button if you want to get notifications. That lets YouTube know that we're doing the right thing. It costs you nothing and it helps us out a lot. So please go ahead and do that before we start this video. This video is brought to you by the Fast Tech Pro Auto Kit, which is an automatic screwdriver plus bit set that you need to disassemble any electronics device, including your Xbox, your PlayStation, your Apple iPhone, MacBook, you name it. Links in the description box, and you can use the coupon code YouTube for a discount. Let's get started. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to fix your PS4 if it's not connecting wirelessly to your DualShock controllers or if your signals are dropping from the controller and you have to stand really, really close for the controller to pick up any signal. This issue in 90% of the cases is caused by a broken antenna. As you can see, there's a soldering connection in between right here and that soldering connection is broken. There's a wire that normally runs through in between them, but that wire is broken and the solder needs to be reconnected. You can, you can use a soldering iron to reconnect it but you should make sure that these two solder points never meet. If they do, it's not going to work. If you can't solder or you don't have an antenna anymore or it's not salvageable, you can check the links in the description box. We do sell these antennas on our website at fasttechstore.com. So here's the PS4 that we're working on today. This is a CUH1115 system. It's sold in other countries as a CUH1100. And a variation of this is the 1001 or the 1000 which came before it they're very very similar with slightly varying parts and as you can see here there's some kind of a mod done to it where the customers made a custom eject button using a wire that's soldered on to the eject button when really all they had to do was fix this eject button sensor right here it's really bent out of place that's all there is to it if you bend it back in place you can make it make contact with the eject button again, making the eject button work, but that's not what they did. The customer in this case soldered a wire onto the eject button, which causes the drive to eject once this wire is touched. And as I was mentioning earlier, this is our problem right here. This is why the customer complains that their console's not connecting the controller properly. It's because as you can see, the solder connection on this antenna is broken. So to replace this antenna, we have to take out the power supply because the cable runs underneath the power supply. So we're gonna need our FastTech Pro Auto Kit, which is an automatic screwdriver that you need to disassemble your PS4, PS5, Xbox, MacBooks, and everything else. We're gonna switch to a Torx T8H bit. We're gonna turn off the PS4 and disconnect the power source. There's normally Torx T8 screws here, but those are missing. So I guess we don't need our Torx T8. There are, the Phillips screws fortunately are still there. This customer obviously worked on their system before and a lot of the screws are missing. The case screws are missing, but it's all good. Oh my God, that screw is also stripped. Okay, so our regular Phillips that usually works is not working in this case because it's completely stripped. So I'm gonna have to use a much bigger Phillips head and maybe not use the automatic kit for this part because we don't want that thing spinning and stripping the screw even more. I'm gonna use a larger head and the FastTech Pro Tool Kit, which is the manual version of our auto kit. I'm gonna slowly open this screw, there you go. And the other one. that out of the way. We're gonna disconnect this power cable that's on the side, grab it by the connector, pull, and then we're gonna lift the power supply out. As you can see, the antenna connection runs here. We're gonna disconnect it by lifting it out like that. There's a Torx T8H screw that's holding the antenna down, and that one does not look like it was molested. So we're just gonna take that one out with our normal bit. I'm gonna lift the antenna out. It goes under the disk drive cable here as shown. You pull it out. And as you can see upon closer inspection, you can clearly see that this is a busted up antenna. And there's a big gap in between here. And that's a solder connection that's broken. There's a wire that runs in between. 
but in this case it's busted so i'm going to be replacing that antenna but in this case i'm going to be using a newer antenna from a coh1215 because i do not have a coh1001 antenna so if you guys are wondering why these are taking so long to ship it's because we ran out of stock it's, it's not listed on the website for sale anymore unless you check on a later date we probably do have them but at the time i'm recording this video these are completely out of stock so I'm gonna be using a CUH1215 antenna, which is a slightly larger and slightly upgraded antenna from a newer PS4. And for demonstration purposes, to show you guys that this works, I am going to temporarily use this antenna. Obviously, we're not gonna be shipping out the console like this. We're gonna use the OEM antenna, but for the meantime, I will install this to show you guys that i am telling the truth <laughs> there you go boom so as you can see this is slightly longer than what we need and that's okay we're just gonna place this antenna here we're gonna reinstall our power supply put the connector back in push it down and now i'm going to reinstall the two screws that were holding the power supply in. Okay, now let's plug it in into our testing rig and see if it works. So now I'm gonna start the console. And as you can see, as I showed you guys earlier, this is an upgraded PS4 with a custom power switch. Custom made, baby. Now that we got the system turning on, I'm going to test my controller and see if my work paid off. So I'm going to plug in my controller into the front. And this is a wired controller. It's permanently wired as you can see. This was a display unit at some point. I'm gonna press the PS button, make sure it's connected, which it is. And now you're gonna see that even when I unplug this controller, it's still gonna work. So it looks like our repair was successful. It was the busted antenna. It was pretty obvious when I saw it the first time. Thanks for watching another video from Fast Tech. Don't forget to smash the like button if you like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Press the bell next to the subscribe button if you want to get notifications. And check out my vlog channel in which I travel the world and I record my adventures. I promise you won't be disappointed. This is Shiroz from Fast Tech signing out and I'll see you in the next one.